All right, so with the release of Warzone Mobile, there is gonna be a new gun system. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about the guns, the gunsmith, as well as a fast way to level up your guns. Now the gun system is very similar to Call of Duty Mobile, but there is gonna be some more changes to it. So we're gonna actually have to go a little more in depth in that. Now, first thing you gotta do is hit the gear up. That's where you're gonna be able to access your loadout. Once you're there, you're gonna have multiple loadouts. You have either for Warzone or for multiplayer. In this situation, I'm gonna go to multiplayer. Then you just click on whichever you want and that's where you can see all the guns. So there is gonna be a whole lot of guns available to you. There's gonna be some from Modern Warfare 2 as well as some from Modern Warfare 3. You'll see some of them will be locked and some of them will be unlocked. Most notably, you'll get unlocked guns in the beginning of the game. You'll probably also have the M4 since that's going to be a pre-registration reward. And unlocking the guns are actually very easy. There's a few ways to do it. The main one is just leveling up. As you level up, you will get higher levels and unlock more and more guns. You can also unlock some of them from the battle pass. So I believe that every season there's going to be new guns coming out with the new battle pass. So that's actually very cool. And finally, there's the arsenal store. This is probably the best way to unlock guns right now and get the ones that you want. So essentially what you're going to do is play games and then you get arsenal points. Once you do that, all you have to do is go to the store and in the arsenal stores is going to be a bunch of weapons you can buy. You can get them from Modern Warfare 3 or you can also get them from Modern Warfare 2. But some of them are going to be more expensive than others. So you can go ahead and buy whichever you want and try them out. In this situation, I do need this because I need one of the attachments. So we're going to talk about the attachments as well in a second. But let's buy this for now and show you guys how this goes. Keep in mind this game is cross progression so if you do play on pc you'll be able to grind the guns out in warzone mobile but there is sometimes going to be warzone exclusive stuff such as skins and maybe potentially guns now let's talk about the gunsmith it's very easy all you gotta do is take the wrench button on the right side of the gun and then you'll have access to the gunsmith now this is where it's a little bit unique these guns will not max out at like level 54 like Call of Duty Mobile. There's actually a limit. Usually a lot of time it's around the 20 mark. You see this Ram 7, which I think is one of the best ARs in the game, has a 29 level. Now, this is very important because yes, you will unlock. You can see there is a progression bar. You will unlock a bunch of attachments and stuff like that. However, in this game, not all attachments are going to be available to you. You have to unlock them from different guns. So that's why you saw I bought the other gun earlier because one of the suppressor is the one that I want to get. You can see there's a bunch of attachments and you can actually share attachments within the same class. So ARs can share with AR, SMG can share with SMG shotguns and so on and so forth. Matter of fact, there might be some exclusive to specific guns, but as of now, you guys can see, this is the one that I'm trying to get. It goes with the DT58 and that gets unlocked at level nine. So in this game, you actually have to grind out multiple guns and it's actually really easy to grind out the guns. It's just play the game. And if you have any XP cards, it's super fast. Get kills or even if you want to, if you play the regular Warzone mobile maps, you'll be able to unlock these guns just by killing with them. However, if you want to be more focused, you pick the guns you want to use playing in multiplayer. Usually within 30 minutes, you're able to max out one of these guns. So it's very, very easy and simple. But like I mentioned, you have to go ahead and take a look which one you want. And what I do recommend is in the beginning of the game, start with whatever guns you have level them up and then take a look at what attachments you can potentially level up some of them is going to be tough because some guns are not unlocked till later on for example the mcw the one that we showed you a little bit earlier let me go ahead and go back there like the mcw doesn't unlock till level 44 so a lot of these guns you don't have access to unless you play the game more and more which you will be actually getting quite a few xp cards in the beginning especially if you get the battle pass the battle pass gives you a lot of xp cards and also there is sometimes those doritos xp things they will actually work as well so keep an eye out on those and that's going to help you out and grind and honestly we're lucky that we don't have the older version of the gunsmith the one from Modern warfare 2 that's a little bit more complicated it's the same thing as this but there was leveling guns and then unlocking guns from leveling another gun so it was just a whole mess but i think this is the easiest way and it's very simple to understand but it's probably the best way let's actually give you guys some tips and tricks on how to actually level up the gun super fast so just want to let you guys know it's going to be a struggle for the first game because no attachments on these guns and some of these guns are actually terrible but the best way for you to level up these guns to be honest right now as the game is releasing is to be playing these shoot the ship shoot the ship is great because whenever you get shipment you can level up the guns like this and in addition it makes it even faster queues because a lot of people are actually playing that game if also you have these xp cards you can see right here i would recommend using the weapon xp cards i have a seven hour one left i'm not going to use it right now because uh, i'm not going to be playing for one hour also if you want to get guns faster make sure to check out these xp cards that's where actually these xp cards or xp tokens will be and a lot of them are very useful honestly i probably would hold off the uh, battle pass ones if you have any then wait for next season but that's just me. But we're going to show you guys how to play. Just go ahead and play the game, unlock the guns, 
and get this attachment. All right, so we did get shipment, so we kind of got lucky. So hopefully we can at least get this up to level six. These games get pretty long, to be honest. So we gotta kill that. Yeah, all you want to do is just. Like, I like personally playing aggressive, but these games get kind of sweaty sometimes. This is the first gun. All right, so after one game, you can see you get a lot of level XP, but if you had any XP tokens, it'll double up. See, you got 10,000 regular rank up XP, about 10,000. Uh, what's it called? Uh, gun XP and then battle pass XP went up as well. Uh, we didn't play too well. We only got 29 kills. But if you get closer to that 40 kills, this will actually level up a lot faster. While I'm here, might as well talk about the tactical and lethal. Honestly, tacticals, you unlock them as well as you play the game or you can buy them from the arsenal store. Personally speaking, right now, I haven't really tested any of these. I think battle rage is very strong, personally speaking. But again, that's just me. And then lethals, nades are good, throwing knives. I personally like using throwing knives so that I can get the kill as well to finish them on your knock. So I like using that. Perks, however, I actually think this one is probably the best one to have. Having ghost is actually very useful. If you're playing MP though, I think Sentinel might be one of the better ones to have. Battle Hard and Cold Blood and Quick Fix, very, very nice. But also if you want to, you can, you can get away with, um, what's it called, Warden. Having the double time as well as fast hand is actually very useful. I just like having Quick Fix a lot. But in, um, VR, I think having Ghost is actually very useful, especially since UAVs are so strong. And uh, potentially speaking, might even take a high alert, but that's the one that I would be using. Anyway, that's a quick rundown of the gun system as well, the gunsmith, as well as how you can level it up pretty fast. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If you guys find any other ways that you can grind out these guns, just to be honest, grinding out the guns is going to be one of the longest things in the game, and this is the best way you can do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!